HRC, 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 Hebrew Reader, Hebrew Reader, Hebrew Reader Church. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We give our praise to Ahaya, Ashere, Ahaya. Amen. And our Dono, Yache, Meshiaka. And our mother, Ruaka, Kwadoshi. We are glad to spend this time with you all. And today we're going to be understanding the mustard seed and what Yache was teaching us. Through precepts, we get understanding. And Peter admonished us to understand the will of Allah and his goodness in order to understand the gospel. And we're going to look at that in Acts of Peter chapter 20. Acts of Peter chapter 20. And Peter entered into the dining hall and saw that the gospel was being read and rolled up the book and said, And notice the gospel was being read. And he rolled it up because we have to understand certain things in order to understand the gospel. Right. Ye men that believe and hope in Messiah, learn in what manner the Holy Scripture of our donor ought to be declared. This is how it ought to be understood, ought to be preached. Whereof we by his grace wrote that which we could receive, though yet it appear unto you feeble, yet according to our power, even that which can be endured to be born by or instilled into human flesh. We ought therefore first to know that the will and goodness of Allah how that when error was everywhere spread abroad, and many thousands of men were being cast down into perdition, Allah was moved by his mercy to show himself in another form, and in the likeness of men according which neither the Jews nor we were able worthily to be enlightened. For every one of us, according as he could contain the sight, saw as he was able. Now will I expound unto you that which was newly read unto you, our donor willing, that I should behold his majesty in the holy mount. I, when I with the sons of Zebedee saw the brightness of his light, fell as one dead and shut mine eyes and heard such a voice from him as I am not able to describe. The record is a true record, the Acts of Peter. Peter is recounting more detail of what transpired when Yachin was transfigured upon the mountain. And though myself to be blinded by his brightness, and when I recovered, breathed again a little, I said within myself, Pure venture, my Adonal, hath brought me hither that he might blind me. And I said, If this be his will, Adonal, I resist not. And he gave me his hand and raised me up. And when I arose, I saw him again in such a form as I was able to take in. As therefore the merciful Allah, dearly beloved brethren, carried our infirmities and bare our sins. As the prophet saith, he bare for our sins and suffers for us, but we did esteem him to be in affliction and smitten with plagues. For he is in the Father and the Father in him. He also is himself the fullness of our majesty. All right, because he is the image of Allah. I am. All right. Who hath shown unto us all his good things? He did eat and drink for our sakes, himself being neither in hunger nor thirst. He carried and bare reproaches for our sakes. He died and rose again because of us, who both defended me when I sinned and comforted me by his greatness and will comfort you also, that ye may love him. This Allah who is great and small, fair and foul, young and old. It's amazing he's right. young and old, because right. he came at the end of the world in the flesh, but he's old because he was from the beginning. He's the word of Allah right. <laughs> right? Seen in time, and unto eternity invisible, whom the hand of man hath not held, yet it is he held by his servants. 
whom no flesh hath seen, yet now seeth, who is the word proclaimed by the prophets, and now appearing, not subject to suffering. That last verse that you know that the prophets knew about Yahweh. Right. So Yahweh was known since the Old Testament. The Old Testament was about him too, not just the gospel. But having now made trial of suffering for our sake, unlike unto us, never chastised, yet now chastised, who was before the world and has been comprehended in time, the great beginning of all principality, yet delivered over unto princes, beautiful, but among us lowly, seen of all, yet foreseeing all. This yache ye have, brethren, the door, the light, the way, the bread, the water, the life, the resurrection, the refreshment, the pearl, the treasure, the seed, the abundance, the mustard seed, <laughs> the vine, the plow, the grace, the faith, the word. <laughs> <laughs> now you understand all these parables he was telling us about him right Ahaya was telling us about him because he came to speak on behalf of Ahaya right and this is the will and goodness of Allah that we must know you notice Peter was essentially causing us to understand the magnitude of Yache right. the glory of Yache because knowing understanding how glorious he is and how much Ahaya's might is in him that faith will enable us to become as he is, right. to overcome and keep the commandments and bear all the fruits of the Spirit, knowing that we have a great help on high, Yache, the righteous, that make it propitiation for us right. to work our righteousness by the power in him. So with that, and see that the mustard seed is Yache. Let's look at Mark chapter 4, verse 30 to 32. Mark chapter 4, verse 30. And he said, Whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of Elohim? Or with what comparison shall we compare it? <laughs> now we know he's talking about himself. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it is like a grain of a mustard seed, which when it is sown in the earth, it's less than all the seeds that can be in the earth. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs and shooteth out great branches so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. Now, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you will go back to verse, go back to verse uh, 30, what was it, 31 or 32? You're talking about the Acts of Peter? No, Mark, 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 we know he yeah. said he's the mustard right. seed. So he's talking about him, right? So he said it's a seed sown in the earth. Right. The earth is us. Man was formed from the dust of the ground, and Allah breathed the spirit of life into him, and he became a living soul. Right. So the Yache seed is sown in our hearts. And as he said in Luke chapter 8, verse 15, Luke chapter 8 and 15. Mm -hmm. But that on the good ground are they which in an honest and good heart have heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Yeah, Yache. And you keep Yache. Right. And you bring forth the fruits of the Spirit by the Spirit of Yache in you. This is, this is the opportunity we have here. Yeah. And that that Mark parable is so wonderful now knowing he was talking about him the whole time. Right. If you can go back to that Mark parable if you don't mind. No problem. Mark 4 and 31. It is like a grain of mustard seed which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. Now remember he came humble. Right. Most meek so it was less than all the seeds that's in the earth. Right. Because right? all the rest of the men were both of themselves and they came in their own name. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> to you. But when it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all the herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. And when he's actually showing you, uh, that oak, that tree is mighty, it's powerful, it's firm. He it makes you firm in him, 
firm in the faith of keeping the commandments and your branch is going out because he is the vine, as he said in John 15. And as Peter attested that he's the vine and those of you are the branches and we ought to bear fruit because we abide in the vine. And so you can see how those branches spreading out, your the fruits of the spirit come out. They emanate out of you because you have Yacha in your heart and you bear fruit that would, others will come unto you. Hence, the birds will come and lodge under you. I so followed the way they knew that. Oh, wait, is that in there? <laughs> I ain't going to ruin it. I see. I'll wait. Praise <laughs> <laughs> oh, It's amazing. Because, and it gives you understanding to know this is for a future lesson, but just the true gospel is your walk. The true gospel is to actually bear the fruits of the Spirit and keep the commandment. Right. Because your actions is what is going to cause those that belong to Yache to come unto you. That's why the mustard seed is the least amongst the seeds because it seems like it's not it's not enough it's small, but it's so powerful. It's so it's so abundant. It's amazing. So we have an exhortation to bear the fruits. All right. Now, as Brother Zakwa mentioned, the way they. Oh, we're going in there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the way they did understand this. And this is a good example to see that this wisdom was in the Old Testament. Right. Our forefathers, they had the fruits of the Spirit. Yache came to make the rest of the world understand. Right. And the rest of Israel are too, the ones that were, because you know we had fell away. We started sinning as well. But the people that were righteous had the fruits of the Spirit as well. So it can help you understand that of old time, the fruits of the Spirit are bounded. Right. From the beginning, you had to have the fruits of the Spirit to be righteous. All right. Let's look at David. His name is Dewede in the Hebrew. Um, Gad, this is the book of Gad, the seer, chapter 8. I'm going to read in this chapter and get this wonderful wisdom of Allah Hayyam. Gather here, chapter 8, verse 1. And Ahaya appeared unto the way there in the time of his old age and said to him, Behold, I am with thee, and I am thy Allah Hayyam, and behold, my covenant is with thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed, for thy Allah Hayyam is thy helper. And the way they bowed down to Ahaya and rejoiced in his heart. And Ahiah said, These are the words you will speak to the ears of the people, my name, so they will obey and they will live. And remember Genesis chapter 49 and 10 said, The scepter nor a lawgiver shall depart from between the feet of Yoda. In the tribe of Yoda, there would always be a man that would give the nation of Israel understanding. And the way they, the king was that man at this time. For there will be no more anger on them. And Ahiah put his word in my mouth. Then the way they assembled all Israel in Yorotalim. And notice, you can know a man of Allah Hayyam because Ahiah said the word that he was going to give him was going to cause the people to obey. Right. So you can know when Ahiah is actually speaking as opposed to when it's the spirit of error. Because Ahiah's words are to lead his people unto repentance and obedience in right. the faith. Of Yache Mishiaka. Alright. Then the way they assembled all Israel and Yorotalam, and he made to himself a pulpit of wood, and he stood upon it before all the people. And he opened his mouth and said, Hear, O Israel, your Elohim and my Elohim is one, the only one, and unique. There is no one like his individuality, hidden from all. He was and is and will be. That's Ahaya. Right. <laughs> that is Ahaya. He feels his place, but his place doesn't feel him. Mm -hmm. He sees, but it's not seen. He tells and knows futures. For he is Elohim without end. And there is no end to his end. Uh, he is Ahaya. He, just, he's, he, he, is. he is. It's continual. Omnipotent. Elohim of truth. Whole worlds are full of his glory. He gave each one free choice. If one wants to do good, 
he will be helped. And if one wants to do evil, a path will be open for him. For that, we will worship our Elohim, our Melaka, our Adonai, our Savior, with love and awe. For your wisdom is the fear of Ahiah, and your cleverness is to depart from evil. So you see where our true wisdom always lies? All right. And the same way in the New Testament, Paul is admonishing the same thing in 1 Corinthians 15, 34. He said, awake to righteousness and sin not. That's right. This is our wisdom to this day, brothers and sisters of all nations. All right. Remember and obey the law of Mushi, man of Elohim, that it may be well with thee all the days. Ask thy fathers, and they will declare unto thee, thine elders, and they will tell thee, be strong and valiant to obey the law. And not to hear it only. And it's essential to do it. Because Paul said in Romans 2, what is it, verse 12 or 13, not the hearers of the law justify, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Right. He's given the same exhortation in the way yeah, it is given. Right. right. So you see, it's the same spirit. It was Yahshua testifying. And that's how you know Paul was an apostle because, yeah, this is the word of Allah Hayyam. Notice the word of Allah Hayyam leads you unto obedience. That's right. And it's... Uh, it's just wonderful to know that this opportunity is here for us to this day according to Ahaya's mercy. Right. Verse 12. For a deed is like a root. Hearing it is like a seed. Notice, Yahshua talked about the good seed are those that hear the word right. in an honest and good heart and with patience bring forth fruit. That's right. So the deed is like a root. Hearing is a seed. So you hear Yahshua is he comes into your heart. That's right. And that root is your deeds, your works. Remember, your root is what plants you into the ground, right? So right. you can't come out. Right. Your That's deeds, right. right. Your deeds are what are going to cause your roots to shoot out that you may be founded firm in the ground. Right. Because those that hear him, obey him. Right. Because hearkening, the word hearkening, to keep, it's, it means you actually guard it. Because what you hear, you actually have to protect it and observe it. So you can see the wisdom that Ahaya, because this is the Ahaya's word being given here. This is why Yate said, uh, excuse, no. this is why Yate said, you shall know them by their fruit, because the good tree can't bring forth bad fruit, because your roots, it's like the foundation of the tree. So if the roots are rotten, everything that comes from the tree is going to be rotten. Mm. And if the roots are good, everything that comes from the tree is going to be good. So you can just to further attest what, what he's talking about. It's amazing how creation itself is a witness like for us or against us. Correct. You were about to say something though. I think I didn't know. And what you said was wonderful. Praise <laughs> I have <it. laughs> Praise I have for that wisdom, man. I'm... Praise him. <laughs> so funny. All right. Um for a deed is like a root. Hearing it is like a seed. A belief is like a tree. Mm, so you see, it, it, it just gets better right. and better. You hear Yache, the seed is in your heart. You work good works. You're, you're becoming rooted, taking, taking good on root. good ground, right? right. Well rooted with water, right. right? The washing of the word. And then your faith, what you heard and what you did is what causes your faith to grow and you become the tree. You become a mighty tree. That, that spreads forth its branches. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful, man. It's wonderful. <laughs> Go ahead. And the fruit is like righteousness. Wow. Right. This is the way they... Right. Old Testament, oh, back then, they understood it. Right. right. They understood the fruit is the righteousness. I remember what we said earlier. The people that will see the fruit, those that belong to Yahweh are going to desire it. That's right. They're, they're going to see the righteousness. And they're going to want it. And they're going to come unto Yahweh. Right. Ah, you be magnified. Right. Oh, man. And what shall we do to a smelly and stinky seed if a root will not come out of it? Remember, Yache said, if you abide not in me, a branch that bringeth forth not fruit, it's uh, essentially cast into the fire. When you read John 15, David is testifying of these things. It's interesting. He said, a smelly and stinky seed. Oh, yes. He said, uh, what shall we do to a smelly and stinky seed if a root will not come out of it? <laughs> because 
if the seed is rotten, it won't grow. Right. <laughs> and even if it does root out, and this is just from farming, if it does root out, it it roots out where it's it's rotten still. It doesn't change from being rotten. Mm -hmm. It comes forth and it's rotten and it doesn't grow all the way. It just dies. It starts dying away. Mm -hmm. It's not founded in any, right. any strength. It was wonderful as well. The word Ahaya put in his mouth because the root, if your root is bad, it's smelly. Because right. the apocalypse of Paul testifies yeah. that evil spirits have a stench to them. That's right. And then on the other end, we know when we have a tree well rooted, well watered, that fruit smells wonderful. You know it. And according to the ascension of Isaiah, the sweet smell of the Holy Spirit on those that serve Allah. So you can see even how sense, even this, right. our sense of smell gives us understanding and is a testimony of the works of Allah. That's right. Mm. For that, hurry up. <laughs> Be quick and act. Now that you understand this, right. hurry up. <laughs> Be right. quick and act. We have to do this. <laughs> hear and act. Hear and act. That times like to the seed, you hear the word, right. right? For you are true seed. For you have belief in righteousness, and I have will bless you in all peace. Hold that. Go to the, the book of Laodicea. All right. So we can see that Paul was in, admonishing that the same things. That be here and act. Now we understand. You hear that word, let it be planted in your heart in goodness and humility and act on it. Act righteousness. Do good deeds. Because you do it with haste because now you understand what you're doing. Now you understand who's speaking to you. Right. Now you understand what great calling this is. Right? And you understand and, what to do. You have instruction. Right. Keep the <laughs> commandments. Keep the law of Mushi with love. That means keep the fruits of the Spirit. That's right. Right? Or verse one, right? Um, this is the Paul's letter to the Lodiceans. Uh, you can find it on the website. Uh, it's this one chapter. Let's read verse 10 to about verse 15. All right. Um, Paul's letter to the Lodiceans, verse 10. Therefore, beloved, as ye have heard in my presence, so hold fast and work in the fear of Elohim, and eternal life will be yours. For it is Elohim who works in you. So work in the fear of Elohim. Notice that means you're keeping the commandments because you can't work in the fear of Elohim and not keep it. Right. So you're doing good works. You're keeping the commandments, right? And do without hesitation what you do. And you're doing it with haste. Right. Hesitation comes from doubt. That's right. Doubt comes from unbelief. Unbelief comes from Satan. And Satan brings that unbelief by our loss. That's right. And then that loss takes roots and it brings about pride and causes us to sin. Okay. And for the rest, beloved, rejoice in Meshiach and beware of those who are out for sordid gain. So beware of those who are out for sordid gain. That's dirty gain. Filthy lucre. All right. May all your requests be manifest before Elohim and be steadfast in the mind of Meshiach. So pray. Pray continually, right. right? And be steadfast. Hold the faith. Remember Peter talked about the devil whom you resist. Right. Being steadfast in the faith. That's right. and you resist him by keeping the commandments. And bearing the fruits of the Spirit. Because that is what he wants to get you away from. And do what is pure, true, proper, just, and lovely. Paul was telling the Lord of sins to keep the law. That's right. Because what's more lovely than keeping the commandments and bearing the fruits of the Spirit? That's right. And what you have heard and received, hold in your heart, and peace will be with you. You keep these things, you will have peace. Because right. it's Yacha in us. Now let's go back to um, the wedding. Please. Okay. I'm at 14. All For right. that, hurry up, be quick and act. Hear and act. For you are a true seed. That will remember the lesson on the true Israelites. Right. You see how you can know the true seed of Israel. They would bear the fruits of the Spirit and keep the commandments. It was being testified even in the days of Dewey. For you have belief in righteousness, and the High will bless you in all peace. Talk peaceably each with one another, and love the deed and those created in the image of Ahaya like your own souls. And notice a part of growing in the gospel. When you realize it's Mishiach in you and understand the magnitude of Yache, as Peter explained, you start to understand that Yache is in everything. Right. 
hence you will love all creation. Even in the book of John, when C. Wade talks about he that loveth not his brother is not of Allah I am. Because if you don't love your brother, that means you haven't acknowledged that Yache is in him too. Right. Yache created him too. And even all the works of creation is why we treat our plants well, we treat our animals well, and things of that nature, because you realize it's the spirit of Allah I am in everything. Right. And this understanding, it was in the scriptures as well. Let's look at the Gospel of Thomas, verse 77. Yahshua testified that he is everywhere. Well, you also can confirm that uh, love thy brother as thyself, the commandment that Yahshua brought with of old too, could David just said it. It's the word of Allah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because even First John said it's an old commandment. Ah, right, right. right. It's amazing. This is the Gospel of Thomas, verse 77. Yache said, It is I who am the light, which is above them all. It is I who am the all. From me did all come forth, and unto me did the all extend. Split a piece of wood, and I am there. See? <laughs> he said everything. It's from him everything came, right? Lift up a stone, and you will find me there. <laughs> everywhere right. and this is why we have to walk in such love understanding Yache is around us everywhere we turn he's around us and the forefathers understood this even before David we look at Zebulon chapter 5 verse 1 to 3 Zebulon chapter 5 verse 1 and now my children I bid you to keep the commandment of Ahia and to show mercy to your neighbors and to have compassion toward all not towards men only but also towards beast. See? For all this thing's sake, I have blessed me. And when all my brethren were sick, I escaped without sickness. Notice Zebulon. He actually had the fruits of the Spirit as well. So you can see how it was, it was in all the righteous. For I have knoweth the purpose of each. Have therefore compassion in your hearts, my children. Because even as a man doeth to his neighbor, even so also will Ahiah do to him. And therefore Yahshua testified in Matthew chapter 7, With what measure you meet, so shall it be measured unto you. Right. Let's go back to Gad this year, chapter 8. I think we're at verse 16 or 17 now. Yes, we're at verse 16. Mm -hmm. For if you love the creation, it is a sign that you love the Creator. And also, thou shouldest take hold of the one. Yea, also from the other withdraw not thy hand. So you have to do both. Right. You have to do both. You have to love your neighbor and you have to love Allah. Right. You have to keep the commandments and you have to bear the fruits of the Spirit. That's right. We talked before about the first four commandments are towards Ahaya. Right. And then the last six are towards your neighbor. Right. And the statutes and judgments are ordinances and, and judgments to understand how to keep those laws. Right. All right. Love Ahayat also man, that it shall be well with thee all thy days. That's when you're honoring your father and your mother who art in heaven right. by loving our brothers, because they are the works of his hand as well. Right. The just and the unjust, because we are to be perfect hearted. As a high, I be gracious unto us, we hope to go into in another lesson. First right. um, John 4 and 20. First John chapter 4, verse 20. If a man say, I love Elohim, but hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love Elohim whom he hath not seen? And that's a testimony unto us. All right. The reality to be honest with ourselves and look in our hearts and see, examine ourselves. If we have hatred, malice, bitterness, unforgiveness, grudging, or any hatred toward anyone else, we can't truly love Allah with that. Right. Because He didn't do it unto us. His goodness sent His Son to die for us and forgave us. We ought to be the same good 
because it's his spirit that's working in us. Therefore, we have to emanate what he emanated unto us. With his great love, so are we to operate with great love. And may Ahaya guide us to attain unto the fullness of the stature of Yahche. And let's finish out with Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1 to 13. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of Ahaya, beseech you that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Adono, one faith, one baptism. One Elohim and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace, according to the measure of the gift of Messiah. Some people did many more sins than others. <laughs> right. <laughs> and But the grace is according to Messiah. I be magnified. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. And gave gifts unto men. And notice, remember, we were forgiven for our former sins. Right. I find that the grace is different. Some people did some major things. Some people did some other things that were still sins, but not in the multitude of another person. Yet, according to Ahayas' grace, he's taken captivity captive from all his people right. and given the gift of salvation unto them all, no matter what they had done prior to. And that's why we would work the fruits of the Spirit and keep the commandments after striving towards bearing all the righteous works and righteous deeds of Yache in us. Because the captivity was the conscience. The guilty conscience. Right. Praise Ahaya. Now that he ascended, what is it? But that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints. That is key to understand. All the gifts of the Spirit are supposed to be for leading people to keep the commandments. All right. And bear and then, fruits of the Spirit. And become perfect and be exactly as Yahche was. Right. Anything leading us away from keeping the commandments and bearing the fruits of the Spirit, that's not Yahche's Spirit. Right. Because Yahche testified in Matthew 5, verse 17 to about 19, that he that keepeth not the least of these commandments and teacheth men so shall be called least in the kingdom, which means you're not going to make it. Right. So you can know all these gifts are for the perfecting of the saints. And the saints are Jews and Gentiles that have the testimony of Yahche in them. Right. Right. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Messiah. See, it's all on to edification, all on to right. perfecting. Because to be a minister is your servant helping others by the spirit of Messiah Yahche in you. Come closer to Yache, to learn of Yache, to attain unto Yache, right? Till we all come into the unity of the faith. And so the knowledge of the Son of Elohim unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Messiah. Notice that that's the goal. We right. have to attain to become exactly as Yache. Right. That's what the building up is for, building the body of Messiah Yache. Was that verse 13? That is. So now we understand that mustard seed parable. Yes. May Ahaya be magnified and hope this was edifying. How is good? He is real good. How is good? How is good? HRC, 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 Hebrew readers, Hebrew readers, Hebrew readers, church.